by the anointing is going. Y'all go ahead and just do what y'all Let God have his way. You, Genesis 39 and 5. Y'all go ahead. Just go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and preach. You ain't got to stop. Genesis 39. It came to pass. From the time that he had made him overseer. The time that he made him overseer over his house. And all that he had put into his hand. And it came to pass. From the time he had made him overseer in his house. Over all that he had. That the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house. I like this. This will mess me up, Apostle. The Lord, the Lord blessed the Lord blessed the Egyptian house for Joseph's sake. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Go ahead. There's an anointing in this place. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. I come to encourage you today. I want you to look at your neighbor politeness and neighbor the place of testing before destiny. The place of testing. The place of testing. Before destiny. Before destiny. The place of testing. Before destiny. The place of testing. The place of testing. Before destiny. Go ahead and let her. She getting free. Give me 25 minutes of teaching and about five minutes of preaching. Testing me to take measures, to check the quality or performance or reliability of something. Trust me, I'm going to preach y'all. I'm going to preach you crazy today. Especially before putting yourself into widespread use and full-blown ministry. Testing reveals what kind of integrity you possess not in front of the people of God but how you are in your heart and in the secret places. And testing reveals the strengths or capabilities you have by putting you under strain. And so now, God now allows you to go through things so your character will come in alignment with the word of God. Trust me, I'm going to preach y'all. So in the testing, the Lord now, he allows strength and force to come upon you so you can see what you are really made My God. of. My God. And strength means forced to make a strenuous or unusually great effort. I like that. She's taking notes. And so now, in this God-ordained testing, it is a force tending to pull on you or to stretch something out of you to the extreme or to the limit. Look at your name and say the limit. The limit. And so now, when God now is always testing you, he is always going to allow things to manifest in your life that will push you to the limit. And so many times now, people get so caught up in destiny until they neglect the process right. and journey that will cause them to arrive at destiny. Right. Lord, I feel 
a teaching anointing. And so now with God now, there is testing. Catch this now. With God, there is testing, process, journey, and then destiny. And God now, he orchestrates testing in your lives just to show you where you are in God and to expose anything in your life that you know you need to be delivered from. That's good. And so now, so the process is related to the journey because while you are being processed by God, it's a journey you are on to get you to destiny. I'm going to preach in a minute, y'all. But God told me to speak to you prophetically and to tell you if you are going through any kind of hell in your life, then the hell you are facing <laughs> it is the actual testing process journey that is going to get you to your place of destiny, greatness, and blessing. Uh -huh. Look at your neighbor with a prophetic eye and tell them you got greatness on you. you got greatness on you. Clap your hands if you got greatness. <laughs> Come to encourage you today. Uh, because the devil wants it because, because now the, 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 the enemy thinks because you are going through hell that you are going to give up on God and throw in the towel. Lord, I feel my preach creeping up early. There are some people under the sound of my voice who are ready to quit. You ready to leave the church and say, what's the use of God? What's the use of church? What's the use of preaching? The hell you're going through now has pushed you to your limit. And God says, now watch this now. God says, if you can survive this hell you are going through, now that there is a promised land that God has in store for you. Look at your neighbor with a prophetic eye and say, there's a promised land in store for me. Uh, uh, if you if you can make it through this hell you're facing right now, that there is a miracle in store for you. Uh, and so now, God now is getting ready to create a miracle out of the hell you are facing. This now brings us to the text. Uh, uh, in, ch in chapter 39 verse 5 it says, And it came to pass uh, from the time that he had made him overseer in his house, and over all that he had, that the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. And the blessing of the Lord was upon all that he had in the house and in the field. Watch this. So the question becomes, what is God now alluding and revealing to us concerning this parable text? Lord, I feel the teaching anointing. Let's break down verse 5. In verse 5 of chapter 39, Came actually means came. Came. Came means to exist. It means to live. And past means to move or cause to move in a specified direction. Lord, I feel a teach. Watch this. Catch this. Specified direction is past tense. I'm in the text, y'all. Specified direction is past tense and a past participle, which means to identify pastor clearly. And time is beginning, which is an act or circumstance of entering upon an action or state. Lord, teach bishop. And overseer means, watch this, overseer. Overseer means to deposit. Say deposit. To deposit or to give over what catch this or entrust for safekeeping to assign the responsibility for doing something to someone. Lord teach bishop. The question becomes the next word is Lord. Lord in verse five. Who who is this Lord? What is the Lord that that that, that Moses is referring to? Lord is the self-existent or eternal God. Yes, sir. Blessed. Let's talk about blessed. Y'all gonna like this. I'm gonna preach in a minute, y'all. Blessed is to kneel or to bless man. Still breaking down verse 5, y'all. Lord, I feel a prophetic teach. Watch this. Blessing is prosperity. Yeah. It is the state of being prosperous, bringing wealth and success. And wealth means plentiful supplies 
of a particular resource. I'm like passed over there. She's taking notes. And success, success is the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. A triumph is a great victory or achievement. So prophetically, what is God saying to you concerning this hour? And what is this text really saying to God's people in the 21st century body of Christ today? Still got to teach. God now is getting ready to challenge you. God is getting ready to challenge you. God is getting ready to allow major testing to come into your life, not to destroy you, but so the oil. Help us. Come on now. Lord, I feel a teach. Uh, uh, but so the oil, say oil. Oil. But so the oil and anointing of God can flow through you purely yes, without be. any contamination. There you go, so, right there. Right. Stay right there. Let it be so, Lord. My God. You, you are getting ready to go through a season oh, of up. serious testing because what God has for you, this is why. This is why. What God has for you is so great until he wants you fully ready for your place of destiny and blessing. Help us. This is revelation. Your blessing, I want to encourage you today. Your blessing is not so much in your place of destiny, but your blessing is really in your process. That's right. Hallelujah. Your blessing is really in your journey to wow. get to the blessing. Wow. Wow. Uh, Lord, I feel the teaching anointing. In this chapter now, this is about Joseph and uh, uh, the part of his wife. And Joseph is getting ready to go through the test of his life. Notice now, the text says that everywhere Joseph went, the Lord was with him. See, it doesn't matter what the devil throws your way. The devil, watch this, the devil is jealous of you because everywhere you go, the Lord is with you. Look at your neighbor with a prophetic eye and say, the Lord is with me. The Lord is with me. If I make my bed in hell, he's there. Uh, when people lie on you, the Lord is with you. When, the, when they scandalize your name, the Lord is with you. When you are sick in your mind and sick in your body, the Lord is with you. Look at your neighbor with a prophetic eye and say, the Lord is with me. Many of you now are in a season where it feels like God has abandoned you. You are in church, but you still can't trace God. You're, you're in church, but you can't trace God. In church, but still going through hell. Tithing, but still going through hell. Preaching, but still going through hell. Prophesying, but still going through hell. And here is everybody else is being healed. And everybody else is experiencing God. But you are in church, but you feel like God is far from you. And you're like, God, where are you? Look at your neighbor and say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Have you ever, I'm going to preach in a minute, y'all. Have you ever go, have you ever go to a place in your life? Where you have asked God, where in the world are you? God, everybody else can find you. But to you, God, where are you? Uh, because, this is what I want to get to. Because of the favor that was on Joseph's life, he was promoted to be overseer over the Egyptian's house. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. I'm going to preach, y'all. So in verse 5, it means, and it came to pass and it came into existence. Catch this revelation. The Holy Ghost revealed to me it was, watch this, y'all about, about to learn something. The Holy Ghost revealed to me it was the Christ. It was the Christ, the self-existent God who moved Joseph in a spe specified direction. Let me say that again. It was the Christ. It was the self-existent God uh, who moved Joseph in a specified direction. Come on. So from the beginning, because of the act or circumstance of entering upon an action or state. So watch this. It's the Lord who is strategically moving Joseph in this direction from the beginning based on the circumstances. Uh, and so what God is saying is that if you remain faithful and pass the test, that Jesus Christ is going to move you. Catch this. 
Jesus is getting ready to move you in a specified direction so the devil cannot find you or even trace you. I'm almost there, Pastor. I'm trying to touch, I'm trying, I'm almost there because I'm going to preach. That's why I'm, that's why I'm taking so long. Uh, God says that if you walk in holiness and obedience, that he is going to cover up the footsteps so the enemy will not know where you are. Uh, because when you are in sin, it gives the devil access to your mind and into your dwelling place of your mind. And many of you are in church, but the devil still has access to you everywhere you go. I come to break the devil off you right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, don't y'all make me preach now. Don't y'all 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 get too excited now. Come on, come on. I feel my preach. I feel my preach. I feel my, I feel my preach. I'm, 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 yeah, yeah, I'm going crazy today, y'all. Oh uh, yeah, I might think I'm crazy anyway, so I might as well preach something I'm crazy. Uh, 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 Potiphar now is getting ready. Potiphar is Lord have mercy. Thank you, Holy Ghost. This is prophetic. Potiphar is getting ready to bless you. Amen. Come on, here. Yeah. Not church folk, but Potiphar is getting ready to bless you. Amen. Joseph made an overseer in Potiphar's wife because of the faithfulness he had to God. I'm almost there. And God says now, if you start being faithful, you are getting ready to get a deposit. Amen. And you're getting ready to give over and trust for safekeeping. Amen. What do you mean by that, Bishop? If you, if you stick with Jesus and walk in obedience, then the Lord is going to entrust you with his blessings. And you will be so, watch this, this is prophetic. You're going to be so blessed until you, Lord have mercy, I feel it. You're going to be so blessed until your cup, look at your neighbor say my cup. Your cup is going to run over to the fact that you will have leftover blessings. God is getting ready to bless you so much until you're going to have leftover blessings. Lord have mercy. If y'all don't, don't like leftovers in this season, these kind of leftovers, these kind of leftovers that God's getting ready to give you, you're going to like that. <laughs> Catch this. <laughs> to God, God will always cause you to run into the overflow. Come on. Your cups of blessings favor and miracles are about to overflow if you can just make it through this. Amen. Still breaking down verse 5. Lord, I feel the teaching anointed. Catch this. In the A clause of verse 5, it says Bishop going to like this. The Lord, catch this. I want, I want to slow down for this. I want to slow down. Don't y'all make me preach right now because I got to teach some more. Yeah. In verse 5 it says the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house. Amen. Yes, sir. Come on. Talk about it. I got you. I know where you're going. Catch this. Help us. The Lord blessed the Egyptian's house for Joseph's sake. Come on now. That's good. That's right. Lord, let me work this part right here. Come on. Joseph Apostle Atkins. That's good, my God. Is in a foreign place. Joseph was in a secular place, in a secular land, like you said. Joseph was sold into Egypt because of the jealousy of his brothers. And there's some folk in your life that's jealous of you, trying to throw you in the pit. Come on. Church folk. I ain't talking about the world. It's church folk that's jealous of you. Trying to throw you in the pit. Yeah. Yeah. But you look at your neighbor and say, they can't stop you because you're blessed. They can't stop you. Faith and love. They can't stop you. Because y'all blessed. They threw him in a pit because of his destiny. Amen. They can't stop you, Apostle Atkins. There are people, Apostle Atkins, there are church folk, I'm ahead of myself, there are leaders in the church, oh. jealous of you, 
and ready to throw you in the pit. Lord, have mercy. I'm in the Holy Ghost. Ready to sell you into Egypt because they know there is something special about you, Pastor Campbell. Amen. Even though Joseph is in a foreign place, Bishop Atkins, he is in a place where they catch this down. Let's, let's, do, let's break this down culturally. Let's do with the historicity and the culture of this uh, in, in Egypt. Because right. mm. for you to understand this, this foreign place. Uh, Joseph is in a foreign place. Amen. And he is in a place. I'm going to preach. I know y'all were in the hoop, but I got to work this. Uh, uh, he, he is in a foreign place. And he is in a place where they didn't believe in the self-existent eternal God. They did not believe in the God of Joseph. But because of Joseph being in Egypt, watch this, the self-existent eternal God blessed the Egyptian's house. Amen. Did you know you could be in a foreign place and still bless you? Some of y'all might, watch this, some of y'all might be dealing with stuff in the secret places. Some of y'all might be in a foreign place where y'all still dealing with stuff. But God says, God said, even though you're in this place, even though you're dealing with that, God says, out of my love for you, I'm still going to bless you in this strange place you're in. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Your word, Bishop Campbell. It's a very good word, sir. See, many of you are in a strange, I know y'all want me to hoop, I'm going to get there. See, many of you are in a strange and foreign places in your lives. Watch this. But because of you, the Lord is blessing everything around you because of you. Y'all just missed that, so let me say it another way. Y'all just missed it, so let me say it another way. Many of you may be in situations where you have to be around ungodly people. Ungodly places. Ungodly atmospheres. But because you are on the sea, look at your neighbor and say, because I'm in the house. Because you're in the house, in that strange place, God says the blessing of God is on you. In this unfamiliar place I'm in. Still breaking down verse 5. The Lord blessed the Egyptian's house because of Joseph. And God is blessing your ungodly boss because of you. God is blessing, God is blessing your unsane friends, ungodly spouses, black sliding people, prideful people because of you. Help us, Bishop Campbell. Let's go deeper in verse 5. Still in the A clause, in the A clause of verse 5. The self-existent eternal God is actually is getting ready. Oh Lord, have mercy. Y'all about to run. This is the Holy Ghost right here. I'm so glad I'm teaching right now. Amen. The self existed eternal God actually is getting ready to kneel wow. to bless you. I'm going to let that sing. I'm going to pause on that. So that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a nice vitamin to take right there. That's, not, that's like five, 10,000 for vitamin C and 10,000 B12 and 10,000 vitamin D right there, that, that vitamin. Amen. I'm going to say that again.